that's cool, but I want to talk about this. So here we have a carnival ride with an A-frame with a swinging pendulum. And when the pendulum swings to one side, we get tension in one leg and compression in the other. And then when it swings back the other way, the tension and compression swap over. Essentially, this frame is really stiff and it moves imperceptibly. And as it gets out wide, does not move an inch. That doesn't even move, hardly, not noticeable at all. You can see it shaking a little bit. So there's a ring on here. You can see it's just moving around. So there's, you know, there's 10, 20 mil of movement there. It's nothing, it's fine. That apex, you know, that's a long way up. That's 30 meters tall. This ride, on the other hand, has a really narrow A-frame, which is much more inefficient at being in tension and compression and allowing the whole structure to bend. I mean, have a look at this footage and look how much it moves. As an engineer, it's a bit horrifying <laughs> to go to carnivals and watch rides like this. Whereas the previous one was fine, I wouldn't go on this ride. What do you think? So I think that these connections here, the plate is on the weak axis. It's bending. It's not just in tension. Yeah, that's going to stop. <laughs> that thing would have a huge amount of fatigue loading the amount that it moves is surprising if this is your carnival ride please tell me you're doing fatigue checks on this thing at the end of every day